So Ozbot has been the cutting edge when it comes down to webcams, PTZ cameras, and more. Ozbot has brought AI to the next level with their cameras at the price point that's reasonable for everyone. So look, take a look at this fantastic camera, right? Uh, they have created a light version of the Ozbot Tiny 2. Right, this is the light version with the same awesome features, but a mind blowing price at a mind blowing price. So this is the all new Tiny2 Lite 4K. This awesome camera is a much lower price, but you almost get the same features as the regular Tiny2. Let's talk about it. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So what you're looking at right now, right, is the Eyesbot Tiny 2 Lite, right, plugged into my GoStream deck. Now this camera is feature packed with AI tracking, great image quality and stuff like that. I have both, the Tiny 2 4K and the Tiny 2 Lite 4K. Now the Eyesbot Tiny 2 Lite was sent to me uh, for review, but all my thoughts and opinion and it's gonna be mine. Y'all know how I roll on this YouTube channel. But you know what? Before I dive deep into my thoughts about the Eyesbot 4K, let's go to talk about the unboxing experience. So check this out. So looking at the box, you have a photo of the Tiny2 Lite in front with the logo of the 4K at the bottom. So when opening up the box, you're greeted to a message, stay pro, stay productive. Also, with a second box at the bottom. Next, you get the Tiny2 Lite itself. And uh, one of the boxes, you get the user manual and the warranty information. Now, in the other box, when you open it up, you get a USB cable with a USB-A adapter. Now, as far as the price, you're looking at about $179. I will leave all product links down in the description below. So the Tiny2 Lite 4K has a 1 over 2 inch CMOS sensor with a resolution up to 4K 30 frames per second and 1080p up to 60 frames per second. It has autofocus and manual focus with HDR support. The Tiny2 Lite has AI tracking with 4 times zoom, which is really nice. And it also has the Steam deck capability, which is absolutely marvelous. So the Tiny2 Lite 4K is feature packed and ready to go. All right, guys, so here it is. This is going to be the eyes by Tiny2 Lite uh, plugged up into my computer. Uh, and I want to show you guys some of the settings. Uh, just like with any other Ozbot uh, camera that you get, you have full control of everything from the AI settings to everything else in between. You could do presets, you could use the gimbal. So here it is, right? Just kind of show you guys. I've actually made videos about all the Ozbot uh, devices and uh, they're pretty much all the same. Uh, so when you go and you scroll down, you have all your... Uh, settings if you want to go medium you can go narrow as you can see go medium and I go wide and, uh, as y'all guys can see uh, that you can make all your adjustments accordingly I can also use the gimbal and I can zoom in manually if I like uh, which is absolutely neat uh, when you go to the image quality you do have all your settings here uh, as far as white balance and stuff like that. Now, uh, I have mine set at uh, manual. And the reason why is because in my studio, I have so many different kinds of color lights, all different color hues and stuff like that. So I didn't want to put, every, uh, put everything on auto because I always set my Osbot cameras to the same setting so I could get that same look out of all my Osbot cameras. So I got my temperature at 70, uh, 5700 Kelvin, uh, which is my white balance. And my contrast, I'll have it at 50%. I toned down the saturation a little bit uh, to try to 
off some of that color because it's it's a, to me it's a, it's just a little tap oversaturated. I kind of toned down the sharpness a little bit. Uh, to me, I find that that is a little sharp, uh, but I leave the hue alone. Uh, so that's how I set it. Um, once we go into more features, uh, now you do have control over your auto sleep, which I put it at ten minutes. Uh, and you do have your sleep background. Now you have your gesture controls. Now this is one of the unique things that all the eyes by cameras bring is the gesture controls, which you can use your hand motions. Uh, you can use the L to zoom in. You got your dynamic zoom, uh, which all works very fine. Uh, and you can do a directional flip. You also have your audio. I would use external audio if you're going to use these cameras or any kind of cameras. Uh, so this, so you know, now you can do the mirroring, you can flip, you could do all kinds of things like that, but, uh, that is going to be your more setting, right? And again, your console, what I like about this, you can set presets, right? I can add a preset and uh, just say, if I like a distance, I could just add a preset. Uh, so every time I hit the preset it's pretty damn nice. I like that. It is pretty cool. Um, you have the remote control settings, which I do have the remote control, which is pretty neat. Uh, it's an additional charge, by the way. But uh, if if you if you all into the iSpot camera system, I would highly recommend the remote control. Uh, you do have your beauty and your bokeh. If you want to uh, have your bokeh settings and stuff like that, you can turn that on. And uh, let me get out of the way here. As you can see, the bokeh kind of get rid of uh, kind of blur out the background a little bit and you can go as high as you want to. Uh, and uh, so that is pretty neat, right? If you want to go into the bokeh effect or you could go into the retouch, kind of get out of the bokeh uh, and you could go into filters. Now you have all your AI stuff. You have your motions. You got your normal tracking. Uh, and if I do that, there you go. Actually, I should have had it like this because I had it pretty much off. So there it is, right? So if I move and uh, it works out great. I really do like that, like that. I really do like that. Okay, so one of the unique features that the Tiny2 Lite has is the ability to connect it to your Stream Deck. Now I have the Stream Deck connected here and I have all my buttons here. So I just kind of give you guys a demo on once you uh, program all your buttons on Stream Deck. You, are, you have the ability to control your Tiny 2 uh, with your Control Deck, which I really love Stream Decks, right? They are very, very good. So I have it uh, programmed. If you see, I go up and down. Now you can um, make adjustments to, as far as how fast or how slow you want it to go. Uh, you could do it that way. And I have a control here to go side by side, left and right. And again, you could make all the adjustments accordingly uh, in the app itself. So if you want to go a little faster, you can. Now, this is unique. Think about this, right? If I was recording someone or uh, you was uh, wanted to get a certain position and keep it at that certain position, you can use this uh, to control it. Now, I do have the zooming in and zooming out here, but I uh, just want to kind of show you guys with the stream deck. Now you have the ability to control your eyes by cameras. And that is neat, man. And I use this thing for everything. So uh, there it is. I just want to kind of showcase some of the unique features that the Tiny2 Lite has. Okay, guys, so let's go over both of these devices, right? Here, right, is going to be the Tiny2 Lite. All right, and this is going to be the Tiny2 uh, 4k now both of them is 4k but there's a fundamental difference between both of these devices so let's get into it first the build quality the build quality on the tiny 2 4k is a little more premium build plus it has the two parts and it has uh, the pogo pins at the bottom uh, that you can connect a, an additional uh, accessory okay uh, but on a tiny 2 light uh, you do not have that extra part uh, it is all included, which is, I think I like this better. And the reason why is because if I lose this part, uh, then I can't mount it. But uh, if it's already pre-mounted and I'm good to go here, you do have your quarter inch 
a mounting port here uh, and you don't have the pogo pins uh, but the, yes you do have that now it's a fundamental it's a little difference between both of them uh, the tiny two light has a one over two inch sensor compared to the one and two eighth sensor here on uh, the tiny two but let's go to then and talk about the image quality let me show you guys some footage here with both of these devices so you could be the judge for yourself so check this out all right guys so here it is this is going to be a side-by-side -side comparison between the tiny two light and the tiny two now looking at the image quality i'm shooting both of these in 4k i think any one of these would do a fantastic job now for me, I'm looking at them. I think that, that they're almost about what and what, but you be the judge for yourself. But this segment of the video, I want to give you guys a look at if you want to buy either or, if you want to save a bunch of money and go with the tiny to light, uh, here it is it, it's the option. One of the things that I really do like about the Tiny 2 Lite and the Tiny 2 itself is that it's compact, uh, it's plug and play, and now you can connect it to Steam Deck and you could do all your uh, stuff accordingly, right? You could do your zooming in, you could uh, go up and down and stuff like that. So you can do complete controls uh, with Steam Deck, which is absolutely just marvelous, right? So here's my conclusion. The Tiny 2 Lite is a fantastic webcam for the price, right? It would get the job done. Look, I've done a bunch of different scenarios uh, with the eyes by cameras and I really do appreciate how they handle everything that I throw at them and I do appreciate eyes by for allowing me to test their product But let's talk about some pros and cons First the pros the price the price is amazing for what you get Everything in the box to get started, which is extraordinary Next pro is the image quality for a small device like this. You get fantastic image quality next you could connect this to your stream deck, right? You could connect this to the stream deck and now you have the ability to control everything, all the levels of everything with this camera, with the stream deck, which is phenomenal. So that's the pros, right? But let's talk about the little cons. I wanna be nitpicky with this one, right? There's a lot of pros with this camera. You get all the features of the Tiny 2, uh, you get 4K, you get 1080p 60 frames per second and everything else in between, plus the price, $179. I mean, kind of mind blowing, but that's the pros. Let's talk about one kind, and that's the only kind that I have, and I'm being nitpicky, and that is going to be the bill quality. It's an all plastic bill, right? That's You need to know that. It's an all plastic bill. doesn't have any kind of metal or premium parts along you know, with the device. But you know what? Once you put it on top of your monitor, once you put it in place, it's no big deal. Now, what you're listening to right now is the audio from external source. Let me let you listen to the audio of the Eyesbot Tiny 2. So you can get a gist on how it would sound with the audio, audio quality from this camera. So check this out. Okay, so you're now listening to the audio quality of the Tiny 2 light let me know down in the comments how you like the audio now i am a i'm in a well-treated environment but still i would always tell you guys that you want to have external audio when filming your videos or filming your podcast or using it as a webcam but it can be done right it can be done and what you listen to is the audio quality but let me switch back to my external audio all right, so I want to give a huge thanks to Ozbot for sending this product off uh, to me for review. Uh, and I'm a type of person that I could put a stamp of approval on something that I actually use. And for me, I use the Meet 4K, I use the Ozbot Tiny 2, I use the Tail Air as one of my main top down cameras. And now I'm going to incorporate the Tiny 2 Light in my workstation, in my studio, because it's a fantastic camera. This is Dr. Tech Preacher. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Eyesbot Tiny 2 Light 4K in all its glory.
See you guys on the next video. Peace.